Welcome back to another episode of This Is Us. Uh, Elbido. Ha! And uh, we, actually wrong character, have to talk uh, to the bubble plant. And also, um, I triggered uh, this start of the treasure run because it was marked on uh, the map. This was the treasure run from uh, the Liu person. Uh, adventurer next to Kefra. And... Oh no, the fight started that easily. All right, uh, so let's exterminate the dude. Three, two, one, like that. Ah, uh, he's here. Where is he? No, oh, wait a minute, that. Every single time. You know what? There. No AOE, no nothing. Wait a minute. Let's just follow the decoy. See that? Oh, the decoy is amazing. I think I also know kind of how to trigger this prematurely. You just have to hope that enemies will actually defeat it. <laughs> uh, so what you need to do is you have to place it well enough so that you don't get attacked. The enemy triggers uh, the bunny and then you're good. Oh, wait, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Ah, purple blades, purple blade, purple blade. Not the kind that I was looking for, but all right, it's a start. So, uh, let's do that. Oh no, it's going around, is it? It's not, it's going back and forth. Oh, come on, really? Back and forth is one of the uh, more annoying ways of those bubble thingies. Ah, oh, come on, nope. So, anyway, and to keep that short and simple, uh, a road. No, a tree, a road, and a staircase. That's basically it. Ruins investigation log. Uh, things went totally pear-shaped at Lingju Pass. The same, I've decided to set up camp within sight of statue of a statue of the seven. Maybe it will bring me good luck. Research suggests that these ruins are connected to a Debdai who fought and died in an ancient war. I think the line went something like this. Hidden within the rocks, concealed beneath the waters. Uh, huh. uh, so you can bet there's got to be a ton of treasure in these ruins. What else would be uh, hiding in the rocks and concealing in the waters? Whenever I'm out investigating, I always get this feeling like somebody's watching me. And at night, I hear these faint mournful groans. Ah, it's probably just the north wind making creepy noises as it blows past Nanjian men. Ah, come on, Liu Liu. Pull yourself together. You're a treasure hoarder. You can't let every little thing like this get under your skin. All right. So this is basically uh, a hint that there's something inside this puddle of water, which was actually this whole thing uh, before. So thank goodness for climate change. <laughs> uh, yeah, where's actually all of that water going to, right? Because shouldn't it, as well as it rushes out of the little canyon, or this hole, or whatever, uh, shouldn't it as also just rush in at a certain point? Because there's a certain water pressure uh, and groundwater levels, so that's something to keep in mind, at least in the real world. <laughs> uh, oh wait, what's this? One of those treasure wheels. Bollocks. What's wrong? Okay. Uh, you have to follow it. Um, it is uh, actually... Sup I think if you... That's weird. Okay. Uh, this one was kind of buggy. Because most of the time they just uh, go into the uh, into that little hole, and where is it? There we go. Trigger it again. Ah, we can start this. Three, two, one. Ah. Oh, really? What on earth? How much did I get? One, 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 five hundred. Nah. I always try to hit it, but for some reason I just missed. <laughs> 
don't fight on an incline, especially not when you are fighting downwards. Like, the high ground would make sense in Star Wars, but not in video games. Oh, there's a uh, GOQ up there. Um... Shoo, treasure water, staircase, uh, a lonely tree. Uh, this is a lonely tree. This is also a lonely tree. Actually, yeah, this is a large as lonely tree. Or do we have any other lonely as tree? Um, this one does not really seem to be lonely that much. A lonesome tree at the end of a road uh, with some staircase. This is not at the end of the road. Hmm. Actually, no, it starts at a tree and then it goes uh, along the road, so it might just be here. Going further and further and further away from this treasure place. I don't think that's actually what we are supposed to do here. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. he's uh, about to die any moment. Uh, let's just quickly heal up. <laughs> 69. Uh, oh, no. Also heal need to heal him. <laughs> oh. oh no 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 oh, how on earth is he dishing out that much damage? And yeah, I I think I know how they just really Oh no 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 oh. I'm losing too much health. <laughs> oh, and I'm out of st Yeah, I was kind of out of stamina. Okay, almost got it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 this dude, for some reason, is just uh, locked in place for a very long ass time. Hey! Okay. Uh, let's just... How do we fight this thing? I don't know how to defeat this thing. Okay, I could try uh, to aim at it, like this one. Yeah, it can only shoot forward. Ah, oh, this will take ages. Uh, what if I switch to another character? Nah, it's also not really working out. Okay, uh, can we eat a little bit more? Nah, he's almost... Now he's full. Hmm. Nah, it's not working. <laughs> oh, that is stupid! I can't fight this creature because I can't evade their attacks because I'm just... Screwed down there. Unbelievable. Okay, and now he just uh, went all the way back up here. Let's get all of those items real quick. And try to fight this thing again. Oh. It's more a trap for me <laughs> than it is. Ooh, damage increase for the enemies. Or against them. Come on. There we go. Oh no. Why is there something like a fire shield to begin with? Oh, oh. Come on, I can't see anything. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Not cool, not cool. Ah. Uh. There needs to be a different uh, method of fighting or a, a, a different climbing method once you're fighting. Something more responsive. Something uh, that does not feel like actual hell. That's not cool. Like, uh, the moment you try to uh, 
maneuver around terrain, you're just uh, kind of getting stuck to it, right? You try to climb it up, uh, move around, but every time you do, you first and foremost lose stamina, which is annoying uh, altogether. Uh, and then you also stay there for a very, very long time, uh, giving the enemy an opportunity to fight you. Uh, and this are also tons of damage. And uh, that's not cool. <laughs> Absolutely not cool. Anyway, uh, this might be the lonely path, really. Uh, then we have some helicals over here. Uh, this thing here might be one of those geo riddle thingies. Destroy so and so. No. Okay, there should be more. Ah. Nothing in this game is placed without intent. Most of the time, of course. Now, uh, what else we got? We got a gate. And chests can't be opened once you're in fight. <laughs> That's also an interesting safeguard uh, to not lose your items. If you die or whatever. <laughs> uh, there we go. Again, collecting so many lantern material for the festival, it's just I won't be able to use it because I uh, need <laughs> to finish it, the mission first. Oh, like, why would you have uh, those, uh, yeah, those, 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 those events locked behind quest progression? That is really... I, d I don't really understand it. I don't get it. Anyway, that might be a way of getting in there. Perfect. Because uh, if you have this, uh, an event locked behind quest progression, that means you... Uh, won't let people experience some content of the game they would yeah maybe even be uh, interested in and the quicker you can uh get into contact with the event system maybe the more you would like the game altogether right because you get a shit ton of stuff i can kind of understand that you don't want to overload uh, overburden new players also but ugh. maybe i'm just such an exception uh huh. to the rule because of my way of doing missions maybe that's just it uh this one here there we go And the boom. Oh, wait a minute. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. And let's do this one. Oh, what? Let's just use the decoy, why not? Uh, but, oh, no, it's not perfect. Uneven terrain and a camera that for some reason won't get further away from the camera. Actually, no, wait a minute. We can get a little bit more distant between us and the character. But it has its limits. Like, this is as far as you can get. Like, you can... This is the furthest distance you can uh, have between the character and the camera. I don't know if there's uh, a higher limit that you can... Some How do you open this thing? Is there another enemy? Yeah, there is. Okay. Ah, perfect. Okay, now I know how to fight these creatures. You have to use decoys. I was wondering, how would you um, evade 
Look at this. See that? Uh, nope. Okay. Once it targets you, the target stays on you for a moment. I don't know. There we go. Another decoy. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Come on. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, we got it. And there we go. I just need some nice items from it. Perfect. And awful lot of stuff. As it should be. Now. Okay, let's freeze this plant. Hmm. How much health does he have? Uh, what did I say? How much? One thousand five hundred subtracted. Um, fourteen thousand two hundred something. So I need to heal him up a little bit. There we go. He always needs to be at a hundred percent. Well. More than 90%, but the difference is actually so negligible. Uh, and it somehow feels easier to just mix him out all together. So, and up here we have what? Uh, nothing. Nope. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> There are invisible helicopters. That's interesting. Either this, or they're just spawning in like that. Uh, I think this had nothing to do with it. Okay, there is no chest around here, right? Right. There's nothing down there as well. Strange. Where did that helicopter come from? Whatever. Uh, let's continue with uh, this Sealy over here. Uh, well, ah, I see it's shrine. Really? Oh. This must be the staircase. Interesting. Okay, so we got ourselves uh, the path, right? The staircase. And this might be the tree. So... It, uh, wait a minute. So this is climbing up. So w wait a minute. Descent. This is the tree. This is the descent. And then we have oh to go down. I think down. they actually mark the treasure in the center that I already got. But the little bit of treasure that I get here has actually nothing to do with it. <laughs> that was um unexpectedly quick. Alright. We got the second one, and this is where the tree is. And it is Yeah, it starts at the at the path, see that? That is weird. Alright. Big. Uh huh. So report back to Chan. Mm -hmm. So we can dig over here. We can dig over there. Ah, uh, what was the first riddle? Uh, a box with something in it. Uh, one wonders who might have buried it here. Hmm. Oh my, it's so what's this notice? Um, no treasure hoarders nearby. Don't take caution to protect yourself and your belongings. Uh huh. Ah, uh, seems like some of the words here were changed by someone. Yeah, treasure hoarders. Uh, just uh, feel feel safe. Feel feel at ease in this environment. Hmm. Yeah, this is the lonely tree. Oh, uh, I think I get it. Um. It is not one path that you need to go forward. It is just three different locations. But it could be understood as a path. Okay, so we got the tree. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's a chest up there. Mm. 
I was like, yeah, look at the, look at the tree. What would happen if there's stuff up there? And guess what's up there? Stuff. An awful lot of stuff. And somehow this is also a nice way out of the ruin, right? Like it's exactly on the road. Uh, okay, come on, let's go up there. All right, now, uh, nah, green stuff. Most of it falls, falls down. There were two other items, maybe just a nest or something. Uh, that were glowing, yeah. A nest. All right, is there another? No, nah, there's not other chest. There could be another nest there, but uh, let's just forget about that. Where are the items? Lucky dogs, whatnot. I think that's it. <laughs> oh, whatever. Um, yeah, I got this one. This is the staircase thingy. And where was the first area to check, really? Not quite sure. There were also those... Yeah, there are so many different chests in here. There could actually be much more. But there have to be that many more. It's just that... You could hide treasure beneath treasure, beneath treasure, and so on and so forth. Uh, where was the first marker? There was, yeah, this must have been the Lonely Road, wasn't it? Like, Lonely Road, da 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 da. Uh, and then I fought some enemies. Either it's. Yeah, that could have been it from here all the way over there. All the way over here, and then just a little bit towards that tree. Would have just done it this way around instead. Yeah. The reverse path, really. So, uh, then there's, of course, a way out of this ruin. And also there's a chest down there. Let's just keep these two markers, maybe. Well, actually, no. Let's not keep them. Um... How many markers do I have on the map? 80... Ooh, 84. need to do something about it. Um, I need... Yeah, uh, I have to get rid of this marker at least. Uh, which marks... What spot? What is this? A chest. Mm, it marks a chest. I think a chest that I already obtained. So, either this... <laughs> yeah, and I went all the way around. Uh, the chest is not on top of the mountain, because I was on top of the mountain. The chest could... Ah, I got the chest. If you want to hide treasure, hide it beyond the gold. Alright. So, this is the treasure that I got. Uh... Which one is it? Is it this one? Yes, delete this one. And then there's another one uh, somewhere further west. Okay, the idea was that it's this way. I don't know. That is weird. I think this is the chest that I opened, but I forgot to take away the marker for it, didn't I? I think so. Alright. Do we- ooh, yeah, the uh, geocule thing. Let's just take this away. Oh my, it's Okay, get that one done. So, do we find anything suspicious in here? Of course not. Hello! Nope, okay. The platform up there was the one where I fought the Fatui. Hmm. 
what do we have here? Slimes? No. Yes. Ish. Underground slimes. Alright, got this one. Nice. Ah, so much slime. So absolutely much slime. Okay, that's the throne. Oh, you just have to run fast enough and then you can kind of skip those holes down there. Oh, wait. Uh, there is also... Is it at a cross? Where's the crossing? This is where the crossing is and a little bit further down. Uh, crossing a little bit further down. This is where a uh, ruin guard is. Uh, God. And there's also a... Uh, you gotta be kidding me. Um... Ring God. Okay, then there was also an a, a electro totem. Electro totem. Actually, it doesn't matter what thing it is. I can just uh, switch to the corresponding element. Um. Yeah, the geocue can be deleted. Now, what about this thing here? Delete was somewhere over there. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere Something is definitely weird. Okay, um... I put a chest marker down here. Maybe the chest is supposed to be on top of the mountain. Um... But I just wasn't getting high enough. Ooh, yes. So, what do we have here? Uh, at Tiankui Valley, the Adepti's ancient trail grows cold. I fall down and weep at the ruins I see. Though defeated is mighty Adzaha of old, there's no restoring this past land of beauty. Hmm. This is supposed to be a poem? Doesn't rhyme that much. But do poems always have to rhyme? Yeah. Kind of. Uh, I don't know, where's this thing? Over here? Ah, uh, there's the electro thingy. Okay, now where's the chest that I mark? Can I see? I... no. Ah, uh, okay. The chest was, I think, on this little road over here. I opened it. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> like, for every little chest, I have to check if I put a marker on the map or not. Because at some point, I just have to check it again, second time. <laughs> it's just... Uh, <laughs> I need an automatic way to do all of that. There is, in fact. Uh, but you need a compass, a treasure compass. And also, uh, the treasure compass only tells you where the closest treasure is, not where treasure is at all. So the whole exploration stuff you have to do yourself. But if there is uh, the occasional... Ah, uh, wait a minute. Once I'm here and do find the Sealy, why not just bring it to its final resting place? There we go. Ooh. It's probably going all over the place, is it? quite. Okay, the two Sealy markers I can get rid of now. Perfect. Uh, this Sealy marker can be deleted, same as this one. This is uh, the Electro Totem. What about those two? 
chest and chest. Then we have torch and chest again. I'm very, very close to oh, the statue of the seven. Oh, and there's also this waypoint. It's actually right down there. <laughs> like. Nah. Rushing there wouldn't. Uh, well, it's it's really close by, but rushing there would kind of defeat the purpose of a good uh, and steady exploration. Uh, just saying. <laughs> And to the side, there we go. And three, two, one. There we go. Alright, uh, let's finish this mission. And also, oh, nice. Then I can get rid of the marker for the quest. Oh, sweet. Do I have so many markers on? Them? Like, I'm at uh, 80 something. Uh, some markers are there for special. Okay, like. Ruin guard, usually ruin guards, right? Uh, enemies, but you don't need to mark enemies. Crystal ore, mm -hmm. like mining areas would make much more sense to my uh, to mark because you can't search for them automatically. You can search for ruin guards though, if necessary. Uh, then there's a sealy there, sealy there, sealy there, sealy there, chest. Uh, and yeah, there is, is some bit to explore down here as well. And somewhere on the border, I put some markers too. Then uh, what else do we have? Yeah, an awful lot of mining markers. Uh, I could at least get rid of all of the ruin guard markers. Uh, that would make uh, the most sense. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, Lan. So, did you find anything? I found this. Uh, what's this? I've never seen anything like it. Where did you find it? I just followed the cloak. Huh. <laughs> In the uh, vicinity of the Jiangkui Valley. Uh, who knew there were things like this in Jiangkui Valley? Well, now we know. Thank you for getting to the bottom of this for us. As per the adventurer's code, this item is all yours now, along with your reward, of course. I'll arrange for someone to head over to Jiangqiu Valley to conduct a more thorough search. So strange, the Jiangqiu Valley area has been combed countless times. How did we miss this? A, a device that can transmute materials placed within a convert... Da, 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 da. Okay, I have to read up on this one. 30,000 moron, that's pretty decent. Excuse me, adventurer, please uh, see carefully about anything guild related. I'm not intimately, intimately acquainted with the workings of the guild. Uh, what is it? So, have you seen uh, someone who looks like me? Okay, wait a minute. Uh, like you are, uh, you're looking for family? I haven't. No, but I will keep it in mind. I've been separated from family before. I know how you feel. Oh. And who are you, the Master of Liu Adventures Guild? I regret to inform you that uh, that would be me. Oh, so she's the huh, branch master, of course. Um, by which I mean I don't expect any help from me on guild-related matters. <laughs> um, I avoid involving myself in such bothersome affairs. That is, uh, unless you bring news about the sword. What sword? My older brother's sword. If I find it, I can finally give him a proper burial. It's the only fitting way to go for a martial artist like him. It's a flat blade, sharp enough to slice an airborne hair in two. It's named Unseen Razor. How did you become Master of the Liu Bench anyway? Uh, um, why does everyone ask me the same question? I will make an exception for you, though, and uh, give you the full story. I used to be a mercenary, I joined the Adventures Guild so I could take advantage of their superior intelligence network and track down the sword. I may not uh, be very literate, but I can read the word sword, so I just took on every single commission that had something to do with the sword. <laughs> then just uh, when I finished my 8th or was it my 9th commission, anyway, uh, I just finished it and then uh, word came from the headquarters in Snesnaya that I had apparently completed two S rank commissions. And suddenly I found myself promoted to branch guild master it was all very strange indeed um 
So, who are you? Yada yada yada. What sword? And then the second option. Um, there. I'll let you know if I find anything. Uh, thanks. I love meeting people like you who are up for everything. I'm grateful uh, to you, newcomer. It looks like it was worth me joining the guild after all. Well, uh, I don't know if uh, this would actually trigger anything or not. But, uh, can we do anything with Catherine? No. Oh, what about uh, adventure rank level ups? Ah, oh, so close. That's also another uh, achievement we can get here. Follow 40 Seelie and Liu to their Seelie court. Uh huh. So, wait a minute. Follow 40 Seelies. Hmm. 40 Seelies. 40 Seelies. Let's claim this thing. Um. Yeah, that do. Follow 60 series. Ah, okay. Now I understand the whole achievement system. Um, because I thought that you can only achieve the achievements once, but there are actually multiple stages on it, starting with the five star... Um, uh, five star Primal Gem version, um, going to a 10 star, and then a 20 Primal star. A three star, 20 Primal Gem version. There we go. One star here. Uh, then two stars, then three stars, and so on and so forth. It's interesting that, or maybe, nah, I think it's different. Um, they don't unlock a follow-up version of it. They come in different varieties. Like this one is a one star one, this one star, one star, one star. And this one is multiple star, this multi-star, this multi-star. That's why. Otherwise, uh, I want to see an empty three star achievement. There we go. Yeah, they do come in different varieties. Maybe there are even uh, two star. Nah. Everything that just increases in amount, I think, has nothing to do with it. Yeah, there are no two star versions. Um, there's only the um, unique achievement. And then there's the increasing achievement, uh, which is like complete so and so many requests or bounties or whatnot. Oh, two more bounties. They're easy to do. I can then get some of those nice spam gems. This is why I get so many prime gems. But it's some. Oh, Challenger series is complete. Yeah, this one was easy. Shatter the Geo Crystal, break an Electrosism Magistrate, stop Wooden Shield. So all of this is just uh, destroy things. Challenger Series 1. Is there Series 2? Challenger Series 3 and Series 2. Okay. Uh, I don't know if these are all the achievement pages. Or if you finished one, then the second one pops up. But no, there's Challenger 2 and there's Challenger 3 right next to each other. So they have nothing to do with it. Hmm. Yeah. They have nothing to do with each other. Uh, maybe they have different... Uh, uh, wait, you can't just do a series. There we go. What is this one? Odomu and uh, Yodala. Which uh, I think are some nice ways uh, to say hi. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the language mission or dailies, basically. Um, that you can do for... Ella Musk. Mm. Yeah, every time, like, not every time, but sometimes you get a specific daily uh, that has to do with helicals. And the only thing you need to remember about this um, mm -hmm. is the fact that uh, what characters are aggressive? E's and I's. Uh, because you have to select different uh, dialogue options in helical speech and everything O and U uh, sounding is actually peaceful and everything E or R sounding I think uh, or was it A sounding E and A yeah um, and plosives like K like Iki or something um, something that sounds spiky if you think about it is uh, considered to be aggressive, therefore Helicos won't like that, therefore you won't uh, finish the mission that easily. So, yeah. Quite interesting. You don't need to remember what they... <laughs> uh, 
what the actual sentences are. It's just that you need to remember the two distinct sounds you can make. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Mm, I did get an awful lot of Mora, didn't I? Like 30,000 something? Yeah. That means I can level up my character again. So... Oh, look at the amount of experience. You can definitely level up your character just by playing. But it's takes ages. Um, no, wait a minute. We're not using these pamphlets. These pamphlets also could take a little while. Uh, actually, no. Let's not. Let's just take ten of these, and then we fill up the rest. Oh. There we go. Maximum level. Perfect. Four. All right. Let's see if I can. Yeah, this one costs more Mora. So the, the, the item tells you how much Mora you spend on it. Uh, it has nothing to do with the amount of experience that you gain, right? Like this is just too much, too much, too much. The perfect amount. And then bam, 400. Interesting. But this way uh, we're not wasting that much experience. Nice, 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 nice. Can we ascend? Nah. I need five more of those stars and also an awful lot of those uh, scrolls. Ah, uh, bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. And again, I'm out of... <sighs> so nice. <laughs> oh, wait, I can get... No, I can't ascend. I wanted to get the ascension reward, but no, I just did level up, so I did not ascend. Mm, 1,300. What about this one? This one can be enhanced. Yeah. Kind of. Don't need to level this up again. Uh, do I have another? No, I don't. Oh, wait. <gasps> when did I get another fillet blade? Oh, sweet. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Um, Let's enhance this thing and hope that I can put it on it. There we go. Let's refine it. And it changes from 240 to 280. And also the uh, seconds go down a little bit. Therefore, making this better in two different ways. Ah, oh, that is amazing. And also, it could uh, be ascended, but no. Ah, nice, 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 nice. 280 attack. Ah, it's M, damn it. Oh. Hmm. If you have, on top of that, also a 100% uh, certainty on a crit, then this would be dramatic. But I don't think you can have that much crit. Um, hmm. Because you should just focus on attack, uh, building up attack even more and more and more and more and more. Um, because 280% attack mean it's a... Wait a minute. To deal da, 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 to a single opponent. Wait. To deal 280% attack damage to a single opponent. Hmm. Can this hit actually crit? Oh no. Um, I think, I, I don't know if it can crit or not. But this is actually considered to be an additional attack. Um, so let's say you hit once. Uh, and you trigger this, or let's say you hit once and you don't trigger this, uh, and you only deal, let's say, 100 damage, so nothing happens. Um, and then if you hit it a second time, uh, and you somehow trigger this effect, then you deal 100 damage plus the 280% attack. Um, chance to deal 280% attack damage. To deal... To an also, the wording is a little bit off. Because it could be a damaging hit for 280% attack. Or uh, it could be your attack value. The whole thing. Uh, times 2.8. And this as additional damage. I think it's um, supposed to be understood like that. So, 2.8 
times and this one uh, as a bonus hit so how much uh, tech would I have uh, with this thing anyway uh, I would deal 1600 damage I think this is somewhere in the neighborhood of it 2.8 percent um yeah somewhere around 2000 damage I would do that is definitely somewhere around the neighborhood uh, on top of that you could also crit with this stuff I think crits uh, apply for every hit that can happen. There's always an additional uh, crit roll. Hmm. Very interesting. It's just that this effect does not happen that often. Uh, therefore, having a weapon that has just higher crit rate altogether and gives you crit damage on top of that uh, gives you a more consistent boost. Um, yeah. And also, for some reason, a higher one. I don't know why. <laughs> but this one is just dishing out like 3,000 ish times of damage all the time. It's just weird. I don't understand this weapon. I don't know why it does so much damage. What I want to see is a game that actually spits out the formula uh, and tells you exactly where the high uh, components are or what the high components are. Like, uh, it, it doesn't even need to be like uh, too, too complicated about it. Um, <laughs> just like, let's say, uh, the different kind of squares telling you exactly how high the damage component is. Yeah, that is uh, responsible for the damage. So <laughs> either it is like the base damage or the or like the base value, or it's the uh, percentage bonus attack value um, or it's the crit value or it's the bonus physical damage value or it's whatever um, that will give you some kind of a feel on uh, how good your damage is actually we could um, do something like that but just with numbers if I go into the details 18% and 84, that's the crit value. And then we have energy read. Okay, energy recharge is also something interesting because this one uh, just tells you you get so and so much more energy. Therefore, uh, the damage over time from your E ability, no, not from your E ability, from your ultimate ability, um, increases by that amount if you use your ulti consistently, that is. So let's say you have 100% energy recharge. Uh, you can use your ult um, ultimate every time you hit these 100% energy requirement, right? But you, if you have, uh, let's say, 25% more, uh, you get in the same time where you would usually get, um, let's say, four hits. Now, wait a minute. If you would usually manage to get four ultimates onto uh, the enemy, you do get one other ultimate therefore you get a bonus of 25 percent yeah 25 percent damage increase on the ultimate ability on the uh, elemental burst if you could basically translate this into a bonus damage <laughs> interesting 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 but okay let's say you uh, half of this value um if it is above 100%. So, what else do we have? Uh, yeah, crit rate and crit damage. So, this is basically 20%, so it's a fifth. Um, so, it's a fifth of 80-ish, which is, or maybe 85 or whatever. Uh, but we are rounding up, so we have to round down here to balance it out a little bit. Uh, so, this is 16%. I think. Yeah, I might be 16%. Um, 16% increase in damage. It's not that much, actually. Hmm. Is that or is that not? Yeah, I, th I think that's uh, that is kind of 
correct. Uh, yeah, that's definitely it. Um, it would be 18% instead uh, of 16% if this value would be at 100. Um, or it would be at 84% if this value would be also at 100%. But we do have another character here. Ah, and there we have the attack. The base value plus... Yeah, the base value plus equipment. Or is this the weapon? 550... Yeah, this is all of it. Uh, this is everything that we get from our equipment. But nothing in here... I think crit rate does not start... F What's your base crit rate? Do you even have a base crit rate? What's her stats? Yeah, 32. Mm. So a third, roughly, uh, of 55 or whatever. What's a good third? Actually, no, 54 is pretty decent when it comes to divide, division by, by three. Uh, that's 18. Mm. Also 18% for some reason. Is that correct? Yeah, that's it. That's definitely correct. Uh, th that is weird. So uh, if you have either a little bit higher crit rate and a little bit less crit damage, right? You get the same overall bonus damage uh, or increase in damage. Then you have this stuff and incoming healing uh, improvement. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, what about him? Um, hmm. This is 40%, meaning two fifths. Um, two fifths? And. Uh, well, what are two fifths and a hundred and roughly fifty? Uh, two fifths, two fifths, two fifths. Uh, two fifths are so iffy to calculate. <laughs> uh, because we need just one fifth. Uh, one fifth would be like 30%, so we have an increase of 60. Mm. Mm. Roughly 60%. Interesting. And of course, the recharge on the ultimate. Uh, another 40% increase in debt. Like this dude is definitely dishing out tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of damage. And then we have the defense value, which is also pretty high. Nice. And then you can, of course, do the same thing uh, just for the amount you get from uh, artifacts or no you don't have a weapon value for this because you only see the uh, the values over here and here okay makes sense so 50 is the same so we end up with 105 plus roughly 40 meaning Ah, uh, 144. Huh. Weird. So, what else do we have? Ah, uh, there's the... Ah, uh, this is the bonus damage. This character does no... Actually, it does uh, bonus geo... No, not geo bonus damage, because we don't have the synergy yet. Um, actually, yeah, let's check something. Wrong menu. Uh, let's see what happens if I change... No, wait a minute. We do have two Geo characters in the team, so it should actually work. Um, mm -hmm. But I only... I only do this uh, if I have a shield activated. Therefore, I need... Her shield active, switch back to him, go into the menu, and then look at the... Okay, no, this is just from artifacts. Uh, I need to look at the attributes altogether. There we go. 14.4% uh, bonus geo damage. I don't think that's quite correct. 14.4%. Because this bonus in geo damage, I think, comes from one of those items here. Um... This is crit, this is def- No, where's the geo damage coming from? F 
14 point something geo damage. I don't know why, but there is a, a bonus of geo damage. Let's wait until this shield expires and then we can check again. 3, 2, 1, 3. So, let's look again. 14.4 still. But every character should actually deal more geo damage. So what's happening? Where is this 14.4% coming from? Oh, okay. This 14.4% uh, is coming from him, self. Uh, this is... There. Uh, that's the value. Uh, every character has a second... Like, similar to the swords uh, that also have a secondary value. Like, this one has base attack and crit damage. So this is the secondary value. Um, similar to the saw, uh, to the weapons, uh, the characters also have a secondary value that scales if they increase in level. And uh, his value is increasing uh, geo damage bonus. Whereas hers is, I think, yeah, is just attack. And Kaya was maybe crit or something like that. No, energy recharge. And then we have Noel with, I don't know, maybe defense or so. Who knows? Um, why can't... Hmm, that's so iffy. I don't know if Geo actually improves because of that or not. Nah, okay, let's not spend that. That would be kind of a waste. But yeah, you don't know uh, what kind of bonus values you get just by leveling up characters. So is this corresponding to the level or is this corresponding to the ascension? Because you can see it when you go into the ascension menu. But I think it also increases if you level up the character as well. Every little bit of level you get uh, an increase in uh, the corresponding item. Uh, corresponding item. Corresponding value. Anyway, uh, let's get rid of this uh, quest thingy. Finally. How many do I have? 80. Then there's, of course, uh, another quest that I can do. Uh, which one is which? Uh, this is a quest and this is a V vantage point. Why did I not get the... I think I got the vantage point, didn't I? I just did not oh my trigger... <laughs> Like it's right up there. It's either on top of the buildings, or I just forgot about oh that. I think I just forgot about that. A minute, let's get all the way over here. Yeah, I think it was either here or over there. Or it's... I wouldn't really say that it is... Somewhere hidden, also. It's like. Kazeda. Yeah, it's also not on the buildings, so I think. Oh. Ooh. Looks like you can enter like a, a, a top floor almost. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> Similar to the Assassin's Creed houses. <laughs> the bird houses. Fascinating. Aww. Ah, uh, those two are arguing. But this time they are at least right next to each other. Uh, so not cool. Alright, um, this is the vantage point thingy that can go. And then I had to talk to one of those old item sellers. I just don't know which one could benefit <sighs> from this chest. Wait a minute. Yeah, this one. Um, the Nameless Treasure. 
Do you harbor with an interest in antiques? Yeah, antiques. There's only one antique vendor, and I think this is her. Maybe this is also the mission that you have to finish. Who knows? Oh, wait a minute. I got the wrong thing. I also have uh, this item here. I advise uh, that can transmute materials placed in within and convert it into some other material. During the transmutation process, you must use elemental attacks to generate enough energy for the transmutation to take place. After painting the transmuted materials, you must wait seven days to use it once again. Uh -huh. This mysterious device uh, discovered within the ruins has the power to accelerate a cycles of and transmute material objects. Generally speaking, everything is undergoing a cycle. Memories and elements surge within the ley lines. Rotten fallen fruits return to the soil and the trees born from the soil will one day bear their crystalline fruit. So you can place it. Um, transmute materials placed within uh, and convert it into some other material. It can convert it into other material. And then you have to use uh, elemental attacks on it to generate energy. Hmm. And then I can use this again. Interesting gadget. Interesting, interesting, interesting gadget. Huh. Now, how does this transmutation uh, process work? Uh, does it transmute these into higher forms? Because if so, I could just use uh, the same method as with the alchemists, or it actually transforms uh, elemental shards one into another one. Uh, that could make much more sense. Much, much more sense. Alrighty. Um, before we draw, or actually, no. Because this is not... Yeah, this is the antique vendor and this is the other quest that I trigger. So let's just uh, finish this other quest as well. Oh, wait a minute. We just have to get somewhere into the night. There we go. Alright. And then... Uh, they should appear any minute. Maybe I have to wait a little bit longer. Yeah, maybe I have to wait a little bit longer. Just a teeny tiny bit. bit. Uh, maybe until it's that light. Yeah, that should definitely trigger it. Okay. There. Welcome to my humble sob. We have some new items in store. If you would be so kind as to take a look at them. Um, regarding the nameless treasure. Uh, this thing you've brought, it looks pretty good. This pattern also seems quite old indeed. How, hold on a while, I open it. Uh, there are some defects here and there, but if you are eager to have it taken off your hands, I can offer you a price. It'll be fair, but it won't be high. I just uh, had a look at this one. Uh, these markings are definitely those of Liu, and you can see inscribed here an anecdote about Asada, Astaha. Um, they said that Astaha was a dragon spawned by a convergence of the spirits of the Geo and Liu, and that even Rex Lapis could not easily subdue it. Rex Lapis uh, thus summoned Fede Adepti to his aid, and uh, together they created a cavernous realm. Lex Rex Lapis then battled the creature, luring it into the realm before ordering the Adepti to seal the entrance, trapping Astar with it. The patterns on the thing you brought seem to describe the free Adepti joining hands to create the uh, cavernous realm. I guess that Fiddy there uh, should at least be Fiddy relics of this kind. Combining all three should give us the complete item. Uh, and you know all this? Uh, well, I do trade in things of all kinds. A little general knowledge here and there couldn't hurt. Oh, um, but I digress. As I said earlier, there should be three of this item. One of them alone is likely not going to fetch a high price, but if you could gather all three, that would be a different story. But this looks to be quite ancient. Gathering all three might be too tall a task. Uh, I'll give it a go though. Alright, uh, if you do manage to gather them, please bring them to me. So, did I... Ah, I still have them. Uh, does she... Regarding the nameless thingy. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, I'll give it a go. Oh, okay. 
Maybe I can't select the other option or I just uh, rushed through it, who knows. Alright, and then there's Xu. Xu also has another mission for me to do. And uh, with a bit of luck, it has nothing to do with me exploring the vicinity. <laughs> oh Jesus, are there an awful lot. Uh, there's a vantage point that I have to check again. Mountain secret. This is on top of... Th the mountain secret is actually over here, I think. Uh, I was just not good enough at placing it, I believe. Yeah, this was the mountain secret I placed at the start, but this is where the rock actually is uh, held in place. Uh, then we have another chest, another geocule, and a ceiling. Okay, actually I could just explore this area all over here before I continue this way. Well, actually, um, there's no other way of going further uh, beyond this red line, is there? That means th everything in here is safe for the gathering, basically. That is a good idea. Then I also have to do these uh, Secretary Ministry of Affairs, whatever thingies, some bounties. Some bounties. Do, 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 do. With a bit of luck, I actually get something out of them. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And look at this. All of them on the line, basically. Chest, chest, chest. It's a chest line. It is weird. Yeah, I think... I think all of those chests are spawned on lines, ley lines. Maybe this is how it's... Uh, how this happens in this game. Fascinating. Anyhow. Before we do this mission here, we of course end this episode and continue with this at another time. And the like and subscribe. Ta-ta!